Hi there, it's Adam with webstarts.com. In this short video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a website PDF or add a PDF file to your website using webstarts. Before I jump in and show you how to do that, I want to invite you to tap the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. That way you'll be the first to find out when I release a new video on internet marketing, search engine optimization, web design, and a variety of similar topics. All right, let's get into it. You can see on my website right here, I have a site titled How to Create a Website PDF. And on this about page, I have an embedded PDF file. It says right here, it takes a content factory. That's just the name of this ebook that I have embedded onto my web page in the PDF format. All right, let's talk about the different types of PDFs that you might want to embed on your website. Maybe you want to share a contract that people can either download to their local computer or they can print at home to sign and send in. Maybe it's a waiver, something of that nature. Other things that people commonly put into PDFs are things like rosters or any sort of information, profile information, any sort of document can be converted to the PDF document format and then uploaded and displayed on a website. Makes it easy to just click to expand the document like this so that you can either download or print it on your local computer. All right, let's move on over to webstarts.com where I created this website and I embedded this PDF file. All right, I built my website with webstarts.com. If you don't have a website, I suggest you go to webstarts.com and click Get Started. It's free. It's free to sign up and create a website using webstarts where you can embed those PDFs. In the second step, you'll be asked to select a design. You can select any design you want. They're all 100% customizable and can be changed at any time. So there's really no way to make a mistake. So I'm just gonna select this one from scratch. And then in the next step, you'll enter your name, email address, password, that sort of thing. Now, once you're completed with the signup process, you might wanna log in. If you've already created a web search account, you can log in by clicking the login button in the top left. All right. Once you're logged in, you're going to be on what's called the dashboard view. This is what it looks like. It's got all this important information about your specific site. And you can edit the pages of your website by hovering over the thumbnail and clicking the edit site button. That loads what we call the page editor. Now in this example, I'm going to be adding this PDF document to my about page. And I'm going to select that about page from this dropdown in the top left. You may not have a page labeled about if you just created a web starts account, but you can create new pages at any time by clicking file and then new page. All right, I'm gonna click on the about page and here you can see that I have my header up here that says how to create a website PDF, but I haven't put anything on my page yet. I want to go ahead and upload my PDF from my local computer. So to do that, I click insert and then I select document because PDFs are documents and then I click upload and then I'm going to select that PDF from my local computer. All right, I've already done that and generated this little thumbnail. You can see the title of my PDF file right here and I'm just gonna click to select it and then I'm going to click this button that says insert file. Now that's going to add my PDF file to my page and then I can drag and drop that PDF file where I want it to appear on the page. I can also use the handles that are displayed around the border of the selected PDF to increase the height and width of the embedded PDF file. All right, I've got it placed exactly the way I like, so now I'm just going to click on the save icon that's gonna save and publish my page. Okay, so now I'm gonna click on the view site button and that's gonna pull up my page. And there I can see that my PDF file is displayed on my web page. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for tuning in and don't forget to visit webstarts.com to create your very own free website, online store or blog. And also be sure to tap that subscribe button and ring the notification bell and I'll see you next time.